Hello, this is Carrie Livingood, and thank you for taking a moment to learn about how you can improve your internal communication with Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will go over the basics of video and audio calling within chats and channels. If you need to have a one on one meeting with a coworker, having a video or audio call with them in a chat is the best solution. Also, if you are having a quick face to face meeting with a handful of coworkers that doesn't require the routine of calendar invites or setting a schedule, Utilizing chats is also the best solution for you. To start a call, start a conversation with the desired coworker in the chats. In the upper right hand corner of the window, select the video or audio icon. This will start a call with the user immediately by dialing them. You can change between the video and audio call by either turning on access to your camera or turn it off with the video icon on your toolbar. There are many different functions you can do within the call like entering full screen mode, transferring to other users, or holding the call. You will need a functioning microphone, headset, or video camera depending on what type of call you want to do. If you are having issues with your equipment, start by clicking the three dots in your call, then select Show Device Settings. Here, you will see all of the set devices that Teams is using to do your call. If you notice that one of these settings is wrong, select the correct device that should be connected. For example, if you notice that the camera being used is your rear camera, but you need your forward-facing camera, you can change that here. You can also add others to your call by selecting the Show Participants button on the toolbar. This will open all users currently in the call and give you the option to search for other coworkers to invite. Simply start typing in their name, and if they have a Microsoft Teams account, you will be able to invite them. You can also invite others by joining them to your conversation in the chat. In the top left hand corner of the chat room, select the add user button and start searching for the desired staff member. Now that multiple people have been added to your chat, you can video and audio call all of them at the same time. You can also do a video and audio call in Teams and channels. For this video, we will show you how to set up a video conference. Open up the desired team and channel that you would like to have a conference with and go to the video icon below the conversation text box. This will open up a preview window that will start streaming through your default camera. In this window, you can name the meeting, turn your camera on or off, switch between your rear or front camera, schedule the meeting, or you can start the meeting now. If you decide to schedule a meeting, a new window will appear for you. You will need to add a title, select the date and time, decide if you would like the meeting to repeat, select what team and channel you want to schedule it with, and add a location. Once you are done scheduling the meeting, a notification will be sent to each user via email and the meeting will populate in their Outlook calendar. It will also send you a notification for when the meeting is about to start. You can select the Join Online button and be brought to your Teams meeting. If you start a meeting immediately, you will be brought to a new window to invite others from your channel to join the call. This is not a scheduled meeting, so users offline may not see that the meeting is happening. However, if you are having a conversation in your team and you decide to move the conversation to a video call or an audio call, starting the meeting immediately is a good solution for you. Much like chats, you can change the settings within the call in the same location with the three gray dots. Thank you. And if you need any assistance setting up Teams or you have questions about video or audio calling within Teams, feel free to reach out to us and we will be happy to help.